It's your girl Lexi from RedCarpetFly.com and I'm here at the House of Metal for the 50th anniversary of Easy Rider Magazine. Easy Rider Magazine has been a staple in the writing community and they have Walking Dead's Norman Reedus on the cover so you know your girl had to come and check it out. I'm good. How are you doing? Doing good. Now, I know you're here for Easy Rider. Tell me a little bit about what this magazine means to you. Easy Riders, for many years, since the 70s, has been like the premier biker magazine. We used to call it a rag. And anybody that was in the culture and really serious about it, they knew about Easy Riders. And they've put on events that were always the creme of the creme. They've always had the best motorcycles uh, in the magazine. I mean, it was the magazine everybody else tried to emulate, but it was always like the Mercedes compared to the Chevy. Okay, you know what okay. I mean? mm -hmm. yeah. Now tell me, what is the misconception about, you know, the motorcycle culture? Well, there's a lot of misconceptions, you know what I mean? It, back in the day, uh, being a biker and riding choppers wasn't accepted socially, you yeah. know what I mean? People that had money looked down their nose and, uh, you know, it was a whole different thing back then. And back in the 80s, when Harley started going more mainstream, then you started seeing more people, uh, actors and, uh, you know, people like uh, that guy, uh, the big uh, finance guy that got into it. It was a big deal back then. I can't remember his name now. but And it changed, you know, so now everybody wants it. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, what are you, Harley or a Kawasaki kind of guy? Harley. <laughs> <laughs> better than those photos in the back. <laughs> the, all the old parties in Daytona, like that was always my favorite, so, yeah. Now, I've been asking everyone, are you a Harley person or a Suzuki kind of person? 100% Harley. 100% Harley. <laughs> and why is that? Uh, you know, yeah, it's just, yeah, they're, they're, just, they're Harleys. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me a little bit about your upcoming projects or some projects that you just wrapped. Well, we've got a band called Do Rep from the North, and uh, we got a record coming out in April, and uh, doing stagecoach this year, and uh, we got a bunch of shows coming up in April, May, June. How is stagecoach? I know that it's like, it's, it's kind of growing, isn't it? It's, I mean, it's, it's growing, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going to be happening in uh, April. April, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. well, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. <laughs> Well, let us know where we can find you guys and where people can um, follow you on social media. We're at from the North We're from the North on every uh, sort of social media that we're around. It's pretty easy to Google. There's not a lot of Leroy's from the North, I think. Mean. You would be surprised. My dad's name is Leroy. Oh! That's how you know. <laughs> I think the future is like a whole new niche. It's been around 50 years and now we're going to take it to 50 years and, and, uh, and, and broaden the horizons and, and make it relevant for today. I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Tell me, how great is it to be on a show like the Mayans? It's an honor. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a blessing, it's an honor, and it's a labor of love. It's, it's, I'm all about it. Yeah. Now we're out here celebrating the 
Yeah. Tell me, what does Easy Rider mean to you? What does it mean to me? Well, if you think about the whole, um, I mean, I'm 50, so I'm, you know, I mean, seeing all the magazines, you know, growing up as a kid, and, uh, you know, actually my ex actually had a whole bunch of little vintage ones in a barber shop. Okay. Cool. To me, it was just something that, uh, when you're a kid, it's a good director. It's a good director. It's always kind of like, wow, this is outside the top. It's just cool. And that's why I like it. I mean, I think it's one of those things that you want to ride. Mm -hmm. so. Now, I've been asking everyone are you a Kawasaki or a kind of a Harley Davidson type guy? I'm a Harley Davidson guy. <laughs> and why is that? They're American made, they're strong. Um, they just good bikes, and a lot of the people I know, uh, like Robert Patrick, who has Santa Clarita Harley, and then my buddy Alex at Born Free, the guys who I deal with are just, they take pride in their work, it's a craftsmanship, it's really, uh, it's good, Harley's just, they're a solid brand, and I have the bank statements to prove it. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing so well, how are you? Good. So tell me, why did you want to come out tonight? Why was it important for you to come out for Easy Rider? Well, I was raised around bikes, the biking community, and my band, Visto Blanco, makes music for bikers, for rock and rollers, for blue collar guys, you know, the people that get up and grind. And uh, when I heard it was the 50th anniversary, you kind of can't miss that. Right, right. How does it how does it feel to be the daughter of rock and roll legend? <laughs> um, it feels like I've never known a different life. You know what I mean? Like, you say, what's it like for your dad's a fireman or whatever? And for me, it's always been the family business. And yeah. I think there's a family business, you go into the family business, so I'm just taking my step into the family business, I guess. Where can we get, where can we hear your music at? Like, if some people want to hear it and download it, where can we go? Cool, well, you can go to BistoBlanco.com. Also, we're headed out on tour. We just got off tour of Hailstorm. Okay. Uh, but we'll see everybody out there in March and April. Bisto Blanco will be on the road. Like for motorcycles, it's hardly even like you know. Um, uh, I don't know because it's like I'm a, I'm a motocross guy. So I gotta go like Honda, and like other companies that way. But uh, yeah, I definitely love Harley. Now you said that there's motorcycles in the new season of Westworld. You know, what are the are they? Uh, you know, t tell us a little bit about it. You know, and and. How has Easy Rider, you think, impacted like Westworld? Something that's so futuristic. Yeah, I don't know what the direct correlation is. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like we have some futuristic bikes on the show this season. So it comes out March 15th. Um, it's in the future. So our bikes are kind of, you know, in the future too. But uh, it's a big part of the season. So, okay. You know, it's like one of the main like being like, on the transportation is this show. So it's going to get crazy. How do you feel about AI? ever encroaching upon, you know, just everyday life. Oh my god, like, terrifying. You know, it's like, you're like, sitting there talking with your friends, and like, your iPhone just automatically gives you all the apps what you were just talking about. Like, I know, like, we're about like 10 years after my iPhone trying to take me out. <laughs> I don't know, you know, it's very real, like, uh, I don't think people will get, like, where I, I can go, but it, it's pretty up there, you know? Yeah. So, it's terrifying. You want an Alexa? I do. I own several. I have a robot in my living room too, so. I don't know. 